is the word Torah problem to you? About. It is mentioned 65 times in the Holy Bible. Stop using the world's words, like promiscuous or loose to describe these women. They are whores, plain and simple. They are whores, period. Start. Houston, we have a problem. The majority of Americans believe the legal 
right that here. That a baby that's living inside of mother's womb is actually alive. And since 1973, that's been because a lot. It, Thanks it to defies all science, broken. it defies all logic, it defies all common sense. To say that it's not. That's why they have to kill it, because it's alive. I don't want to make anyone panic. Okay, otherwise there'd be nothing to kill. But actually everyone should be And many parts of the U.S. have been made so difficult to obtain that it's But many will say, well, it was if it were to be home alone. I know this is gay. How did that happen? Aren't our rights protected? No. As it turns out, our troubles began in 1982. While Freehold Green was hoarding from the Bible reads, as thou knowest not, what is the way of the Spirit? But those restrictions could be presented in the Bible that is with child. Even so, thou knowest not the works of God. So the Bible says that God made the child in the womb. You don't know how he does it. You don't know how the bones grow in the womb. You don't know the way of the Spirit. You have no idea. So no pretend to know. Just like the Bible says, how 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 the Bible says, how
Because the Bible says that you're not a little loose. No. It doesn't say, oh, she's a little bit risque. No, she's a filthy whore. Yep. That's what the Bible says. Amen. You say you're going to hurt somebody's feelings. Good. Well, I hope they don't read Ezekiel 16. It might hurt their feelings. No, the Bible says they're a whore. And he said, you know what? You've caused your beauty to be abhorred. Abhorred means hated. You may look beautiful on the outside, but God said, your beauty is disgusting because of what you are on the inside, because you murder your own child. He said, you are disgusting. Listen to this. Did you know that 83% of women getting abortions are not married? They're a bunch of whores. 83% of them aren't married. They're whores. They're out sleeping around. Oh, I didn't plan this. Well, did you plan to open your feet unto everyone that passed by? That's yeah. what the Bible said you did. Yep. You little whore, you. And it's disgusting, it's filthy, and there's no excuse for it. I'm not going to use these little modern words that the Bible tries to sugar, I mean that the society tries to sugarcoat it. Do you see anything sugarcoated in this chapter we're reading? No. Nope. Nope. It looks like he's mad. I mean, to say all those things, you've got to be pretty mad. Let's keep reading it. I have it printed out on my notes here. He said, you opened your feet to everyone that passed by and multiplied thy whoredoms. Thou hast also committed fornication with the Egyptians, thy neighbors, great of flesh, and hast increased thy whoredoms to provoke me to anger. Behold, I have stretched out my hand over thee and have diminished thine ordinary food and delivered thee under the will of them that hate thee, the daughters of the Philistines, which are ashamed of thy lewd way. Thou hast played the whore. A little down further. Thou hast played the harlot. You've multiplied fornication versus... So, hey everyone, and Happy New Year! Today we'll be covering some highly requested topic of homosexuality. And I ain't gonna lie, homo is my favorite four letter word. Who they are. My experience, people who think that others choose to be gay or hostile. 
facility have pleasure or game to do that. I've never had any personal relationships with people before. Yeah, at least none that they know about. When you don't have a pre-existing friendship, it's easy to turn a normal person into a 12-eyed monster with genitals growing out of their head. Perhaps the real question we should be asking here instead of whether or not people choose is whether or not it fucking matters. Today, homosexuality is in the public eye more than ever. The battle over Proposition 8 has continued to rage. And it's funny, the path of court cases that led to Proposition 8 looks suspiciously like the court cases that led to African American rights and women's equality. Oddly, a flamboyant betrayal of what it is to be gay has made its way into the media with the help of shows like Queer Eye for the Straight Guy and Boy Meets Boy. Unfortunately, in the eyes of the media, gay men are only flamboyant fashionistas that have been a little bit like high schoolers. No offense, homes. And gay women are constantly portrayed as having really gnarly haircuts and apparently a bad sense of fashion. It's probably why everyone thinks of the raging lesbo. In the meantime, still in present day 2011, individuals continue to be shot, stabbed, and hung for being gay. To make matters worse, the UN removes sexual orientation as something that was protected from arbitrary execution. It's like, are you kidding me? All of this over what people do privately and consensually in their own bedrooms? All of this while research keeps coming out showing that gay couples have less spousal and child abuse. All of this while the Constitution demands equal protection. All of this just to control who you can love based on your If I were you, I would have 